don't want to see tomatillas, tomatillos in there. So I didn't really want to know that, but. All right, here we go. This is Eating with Sasquatch. I am the Sasquatch, and today we have the Nurse Shark from my friends at the Spicy Shark. Uh, this company was started by Gabe and his wife, Jill. Uh, very passionate about sharks and apparently passionate about hot sauce as well. This is a fairly new company. Uh, this is one of the lower end. I think they got one that's actually a little milder than this, but this one just really struck me, and I wanted to try it first. Uh, they sent, I believe, their whole product line. It may not be the entire product line, but it is a ton of stuff. I'll show you that here, here in a very few. Cannot talk right now. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm going to look over here and hopefully, ah, nope, it looks like I saw ingredients on this. I'll read this after. I don't want to know too much about this. I got a feeling this is going to be a Verde sauce. I actually just saw that there's tomatillas and tomatillos in there. I don't want to say tomatillas, tomatillos in there. So I didn't really want to know that, but now I know that's in there. So let's uh, crack this open. I, I'm telling you, I love the labels. Um, my kids, my kids absolutely adore sharks. So they're going to love that dad has some hot sauce that's shark inspired. Both of my sons absolutely love sharks I've, I've seriously i've been excited to try this i'm i'm a shark fan as well oh look at that guys that is a very dark verde sauce looks like it's rolling around in the bottle just kind of how you want it to it's sticking in the neck oh that is beautiful i really like the label um the sharks they kind of have different sharks uh for the different flavors and things i think that's kind of a cool idea as well uh talked to gabe a little bit about you know what he was doing and he uh, sent me to a blog i will include a link in the description to the uh, to the blog because i think this is something this company is worth checking out I just i haven't tried any of the sauces yet this is my first one but just from the passion that i saw when i when i looked at the blog i really think it's it's worth looking it's worth looking and i guarantee you he's if he put half as much passion into this sauce as what i think he did then it's going to be delicious so Super, super excited to try this. I'm gonna crack it open and get a little whiff of it real quick. Oh, ooh, got a nice seal on it. That's always good. When it draws in, that means it was bottled, uh, bottled hot. So, gonna put that back in there. Oh, I can just tell you this is gonna be. Ho 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 ho. Oh yeah. So, I'm I'm picking up on the tomatillos. Uh, picking up on a jalapeno, a little bit of vinegar, I think it's vinegar, yeah, vinegar, maybe some, I don't know if that's garlic, oh, this smells, this smells super, super fresh, this smells like fresh, like you just chopped some jalapenos and tomatillos up, fresh, it's actually got me salivating, I love, I love when a sauce is like that and it, it makes me salivate. So there's some good parts and pieces floating around in here. I think I see maybe a seed or it's a chunk of garlic. I can't tell for sure. Let's get the pour going here and see what this is all about. Oh yeah, look at that. Kind of see the chunkiness in the pour. Got the eating with Sasquatch spoon. Thank you, Missy L. Oh, now on the spoon, on the spoon, there's a little more of a uh, garlic smell. It's gotta be garlic. It might be onion, but I'm pretty sure it's garlic. So. Here we go, down the hatch. Three, two, one. Texture, perfect. Texture is absolutely perfect. It's got a decent little, little tang to it. It's not, it's not what I would call hot, but it's got a nice little radiating burn kind of going on there. Um, of course, I set my napkin out of the way. Wow, I'm actually impressed with the burn on that. Um, flavor's a little different. It, it smelled a little more smoky. Um, I definitely get a strong jalapeno flavor. So if you like jalapenos, this this is definitely, I would call this right now, I would call this a very strong jalapeno sauce. Like it is very jalapeno forward. I really enjoy jalapenos, so I, I actually like that. I think the jalapenos actually are more powerful in this than the, than the tomatillos. So very interesting verde. The heat is actually, it's there. Um, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that here in a sec. I'm going to read the side of this. Eat the heat, savor the flavor. Nurse sharks are mellow by nature, but large in size, and unlike most other sharks, smooth to the touch. Like the nurse shark, this green jalapeno sauce, there we go, has a mellow, smooth heat, but huge flavor. Undertones of tomatillo, and that, that is exactly right. It is very much a jalapeno sauce with undertones of tomatillo. That is very right. Uh, apple and melon balance the heat from the jalapeno and poblano pepper for a or for an approachable but unforgettable taste. I would agree, it's definitely approachable. This is not over the top hot. This is this is what I would call a hot sauce though. It's it's definitely a hot sauce. Um, we'll, we'll say heat right now. It, it's actually got two fins uh, out of five. I honestly. I'm going to go ahead and kind of agree with that. I'm going to say, I'm going to call it a two. It's not, I mean, it's, it's enough that maybe a little kid would definitely not want to overdo this, but, um, anybody that, that likes spice, it's, it's going to start to be where it's enjoyable. Um, very much jalapeno flavor though. Very cool. Okay. Ingredients, jalapeno, jalapeno pepper, poblano pepper, onion, tomatillo, cantaloupe, water, apple cider vinegar, apple cider, sugar, garlic, lemon juice, lime, olive oil, ginger, vinegar, habanero, pepper, cilantro, salt, fruit pectin, lime juice, and mint. Wow, that is quite a few ingredients. I mean, it's all they're all basic ingredients. Nothing, there's no like um, thickening agents or anything like that in there. Um, I, I just cannot believe that that I'm gonna get another hit of this real quick. Cannot believe that all that is in there. Like I, there's some of the stuff I just don't taste in there. So that I mean that's fine and well, but just doesn't. Oh, <laughs> I do I do experience the melon now that I know that the melon is in there. That's wild. Um, I definitely taste the apple cider vinegar as well. Um, it's not prevalent or anything, but the melon is actually, I, I think maybe that's what he was doing was trying to dumb down the heat a little bit with the melon. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. That's, that's interesting. So I just so happen to have a slice of, and I'm going to call it cheapy because it, it really kind of is, but I love this pizza, uh, cheapy pizza here, thin crust. And I'm going to pour some of this on it and see how this does with it. Ooh, yeah. Get up nice. Nice little hit of that on there. Let's just set this on the plate. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> very, very delicious on pizza. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is amazing. I really, it's such an odd thing that the, the you, once you know the melons in there, it's it's there, but it's not um, it's not a prevalent flavor. It's it's a, it almost adds like a freshness to it. It's such a different thing. I'm not used to experiencing that in in hot sauce. The jalapeno is just it's there. It is so there. I think pizza. It's one of those things that it's perfect for because of it's a, being a jalapeno sauce. I was just thinking it was a verde sauce, so I thought it'd be good for pizza. But the fact that it's so jalapeno forward, I think, really, really, you know, lends itself to being a uh, pizza sauce. Um, tacos, obviously, anything that you would put a jalapeno sauce on, I think this would be good. Eggs. Um, I'm, I'm really one of those people. I do not like sauces. On eggs very often but I think this would be really good on like uh, an omelet or even just a fried egg or, or some some uh, scrambled eggs I'm sorry I think I have a uh, vehicle outside backing up four miles down the road because it's still beeping so sorry about that it just so happens that that happens sometimes during filming <laughs> edit. probably not gonna edit that out but Kind of annoying so anyways let's go ahead and talk about some of these sauces here that they sent 
This is the original. It looks like it has a great white shark on it right here. Um, and this one is a medium heat. They sent, I believe, like 10 of these things. So let me make sure I got, I want to try to get these all. Oh, this is interesting. So they sent some hot maple syrup. This one's a, excuse me, pepper burp. Uh, this one's a, a, a medium, but look at that. Oh. I cannot wait to try the maple syrup. I'm, I'm actually gonna, there's another maple syrup. I'm grabbing everything but the other maple syrup. There's another maple syrup right here. This one's supposed to be a mild. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can't get my, my kids to try this one with me. Um, we're gonna maybe do some pancakes this weekend and see if I can't get the boys to try. It looks like it's got a, oh, I don't know what kind of shark that is. Oh, a blue shark. It says right there, blue shark, hot blueberry syrup. So, probably gonna try that with them. This is a wing sauce. Another one with the great white on it, I believe. Uh, that looks spectacular. I cannot, I cannot wait to try that. That just, oh, that looks so good. Like, it, it's, I'm telling you. It says this stuff was born in New England. I, I, I like this. I, I like where this is going. Gabe, I think, is just one of those guys. I am so, Glad he reached out to me. Uh, this one's a Thresher Shark Chipotle. I'm not the biggest fan of Chipotle, but uh, as of late, I have been finding very, quite a few Chipotles that I actually like. So I got the uh, Thresher Shark on there. So kind of cool. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, Megalodon. This one looks mean. This one looks mean. This is the Carolina Reaper, and this is Wicked Hot. Ooh, there's like layers of color in here. It's like, oh, this is going to be a vicious sauce. I can already tell. Ooh, I can't wait to try that one. Oh, oh boy. With the Megalodon. With the fire-breathing Megalodon. Wicked hot. Oh. And this one is the Sriracha Smoked Maple. I definitely have been a... a much bigger fan of sriracha as of late. Let's see if they, I'm gonna just kind of glance at the ingredients here to see if they stuck to the, interesting. They added a few extra ingredients. Generally sriracha, maybe this is more of a sriracha inspired, but uh, generally sriracha is gonna be a five ingredient thing. Tiger shark, ghost pepper. Ooh, that looks delicious. Look at the little parts and pieces floating in there. Oh my gosh, oh, I love ghost pepper. I love ghost pepper. I really, 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 I wanna just crack this one open right now. Uh, this was the tiger shark. Yes, tiger sharks are cool. And then, I believe this is the last, yeah, last but not least, hot honey. What? Hot honey. This is, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like. I love, I love honey. I do. Um, I cannot wait to try this on some biscuits. I have, this is the first spicy honey that I've ever tried. Um, actually, those are the first, or not tried. This is the first honey that I have, or spicy honey that I can blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. <laughs> this is the first spicy honey that I will have tried. Um, it'll be the same with the, uh, the syrups. I have not tried any spicy syrups yet. I've come to find out that they're, Actually, are spicy syrups out there, but these strike me as one of the potentially upper echelons. So, really excited to try that. Definitely check out, link in the description, uh, the Spicy Shark Company. I'm telling you, these guys are doing something big. They're going to be a big name soon. I promise you they're going to be a big name soon. Their marketing is good. Their the product line looks really, really good. It really does. It looks really like well thought out. Love it. Um, link in the description for that. Also, while you're going down there, make sure and stop. If you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Go next to that when you hit the subscription button and a notification bell will pop up. Hit that notification bell. It'll notify you when I upload videos and it will also notify you uh, when I go live. So uh, it does not cost anything. It does not cost 
anything to subscribe to my channel. I hear it all the time. People are like, how much does it cost to subscribe to your channel? It does not cost anything. I don't know why people have, have got this belief in their head. I guess just the idea of subscription makes people think that. Also, there's other channels in, in the description, friends of the show. Go check them out. Go subscribe to them. Tell them the Sasquatch sent you. Till next time, eat like a squatch. Oh.